New tonight, experts say diagnosing autism can be a lengthy process even during normal times, and the pandemic is complicating things further. Well, some families have been waiting months to see a doctor possibly delaying their kid's diagnosis. Emma Lockhart joins us live from Phoenix tonight with more on that. Emma. One expert tells me during the pandemic, some families are waiting longer for an autism evaluation, and that is delaying the process for these kids to get crucial support. Early on, Marissa Cepeda knew something was wrong with her son. He wouldn't really talk. Um, he couldn't say ma, da. It was really nothing. At two years old, Connor was still nonverbal and having outbursts. Last April, right as COVID hit, Cepeda took him to the doctor in search of answers. All I was told was that we needed to see a developmental pediatrician, and it was nearly impossible to find one. Connor was referred to Phoenix Children's Hospital, where he could get an autism evaluation, but Cepeda says he never got in. Up until this day, they have not called us to schedule an appointment. Cepeda waited nine months before looking elsewhere. It only felt like forever because of the struggles that we were going through. Uh, with him. Finally, she got an appointment at another facility where he was diagnosed with autism spectrum disorder. It was a sigh of relief for a family desperate for help. It's rough. It's very rough. Connor isn't alone. Experts say the pandemic is creating a delay in autism diagnoses for kids. That process is delayed. We're robbing that child of time that is better spent on intervention. Dr. Christopher Smith is with the Southwest Autism Research and Resource Center. He says during the pandemic, less parents were taking their kids to pediatricians and some doctors were not seeing patients. That means that there are fewer opportunities for, uh, for young children to get screening. Smith says kids out of the classroom is also contributing to the delay. Teachers are very good at identifying differences and when children need support. For now, Cepeda has advice for other parents still searching for answers like she was. Just ask the hard questions and just be vulnerable so that you can get the help that, you know, your child needs. And we reached out to Phoenix Children's Hospital to see if the pandemic is impacting the wait list to see a developmental pediatrician, but a spokesperson uh, couldn't give us an answer at this time. Jared? Emma, for kids who can't get in to see a doctor right away, are there other resources available to them and their parents? Well, the Southwest Autism Research and Resource Center actually has a new program uh, called Easy Screen, where they do a screening over the phone to see if a child has any delays. If they do, they then connect some parents uh, with resources out there so they can get their kids an autism evaluation somewhere else. Yeah, you could certainly understand how stressful that would be for these parents. Emma Lockhart live tonight. Emma, thanks.